In the last video, we looked at how to record a MIDI track, and what we've done is recorded a drum part onto this Kong MIDI track here. Now, Reason likes to work with MIDI clips. Uh, that makes things easier to deal with and easier to manage in the sequencer. You'll see that clips have left and right boundaries, and these can be picked up and moved. You can see that if I extend a clip to the left, I'm making it longer, although there's nothing actually in there. There's no recorded data in there, but I can make it longer. I can also make it shorter, but I'm not deleting anything when I do that. All that's happening is it's masking the data that's already in there. If I drag it back, you can see that everything's still there. MIDI clips can be picked up, moved around anywhere on a track. They obey the snap settings, which you can find up here. Now, a lot of the time you'll want to leave this set to snap to bar because when you've got a clip that's nicely recorded at exactly the right length, like we have here, if you are moving it, you'll probably want it to still begin at a certain bar and still end at a certain bar. If you're getting a little bit more into detail, you can change this if you like. You could change it to snap to quarter notes, in which case you're able to drag it with a bit more precision. Uh, it's even possible to turn this to a very, very fine setting, which gives you almost complete freedom. In fact, if you turn snapping off, you do get complete freedom. That won't snap to any recognizable marker at all. Um, the only problem with that is, of course, it makes things very easily go out of time. So what I've done there is actually managed to dislodge it. So let's put it back into time. There we go. And that's why you shouldn't necessarily um, play around with these very fine divisions of beats unless you know why you're doing it. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and drag a clip, you can duplicate it very easily. There it goes. These clips are independent of each other, so if I make changes to one of these, it doesn't affect the other one. They're completely independent. That's quite handy to know about. I just pressed backspace on my keyboard there to delete the other clip. Next up, let's have a look at colouring clips on the timeline to help differentiate between them and a little bit about edit mode. 